Our warriors will scour the halls of Pinnacle Rock, removing any last elements of opposition. Then, we will immediately return to our duties. Indeed, Lord Sheagorath will be anxious to hear of your victory, I am sure. is an artificial construct, an arbitrary system based on the idea that events occur in a linear direction at all times, always forward, never back. Is the concept of time correct? Is time relevant? It matters not. One way or another, I fear that our time has run out, as I feared it would. My plan has failed. The Grey March is upon us. I must go. I thought we had more time. I thought we had a chance. My plan has failed and we were so close. What happens is what always has happened. What always will happen. I crumble. I fade. The realm dies. And you with it. Flee while you can. When we next meet, I will not know you, and I will slay you like the others. Optimism! Ha! Ho, 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 ho. How adorable! I love it! Even at the end, you make me laugh! <laughs> I'm lying. That wasn't funny at all. No matter. Soon you and everyone else will be dead. And I will be left a mad god, ruler of a dead realm, again. I had intended to give you my staff, the symbol of my office. Life is gone from it, as it goes from me. It is now dead wood, a useless twig. With the staff, there was hope. But now, hope is dead. I am dead. The realm. The realm is dead! Sheogorov is dead! All shall crumble before Jigalov! Sheogorath has vanished before we could complete the plan to stop the forces of order. Perhaps Haskell will know what steps we should take. He is gone, but hope is not lost. We have a rare opportunity here, but I hesitate to do what must be done. If the Throne of Madness remains empty when Jigalag storms the palace, he will prevail. But there is a chance that the throne may not be empty. Why, you will, of course. It has always been Sheogorath's intent to raise you to sit upon the throne of madness. True, but perhaps you can hold the throne, provided that you possess the proper symbol of office, namely, the staff of Sheogorath. Unfortunately, when Sheogorath faded, the power of the star faded with him. It must now be remade. The staff is the symbol of power in this realm. He who rightfully holds the staff may hold the throne of the Shivering Isles. However, the secrets of its construction are lost. That which is lost can be found again. There is one being in the Shivering Isles who may be able to assist you in the construction of a new staff. The ruins of Knife Point Hollow once served as a great library. There you will find a door. Behind that door you will find the answer you seek. Although I hesitate to guide you towards this path, the secrets of the past will surely aid Jigalag, but I fear that we have no other choice. 
Be mindful of what you find there. The library is a thing of order, and it will still serve that end. Take this crystal. It contains the power to open the sealed door. Inside, you will find the final remnants of the library. If only we could speak more often. This day, as all days before and after, is well known to me. There are no surprises to Dias of Mytheria. Shea Gorath has fallen, and you seek the means to foil the machinations of the Prince of Order. You seek the throne of madness. However, no mortal may sit upon the throne without the staff, so here you are in my prison, seeking to supplant the one who placed me here. If you wish to take the place of Shale Gorath, then ask me what you will. You were expecting a book, an ancient tome filled with the secrets that you seek. But instead you have found me, the last remnant. Individuality is an illusion. The details of my existence are no more important than the history of the stone. However, if you insist, I once served as the keeper of the great library of Jigalak. The great library was the height of logic and deduction. Contained within its walls with the logical prediction of every action ever taken by any creature, mortal or data. Every birth, every death, the rise of Tiber Septum, the Numidium, everything. All predicted with the formula found within Jigalag's library. Shea Gorath discovered the library. He had it burned, insisting that it was an abomination and that personal choice defied logical prediction. I am all that remains of the knowledge contained within the great library of Jigalag. Following each cycle of the Grey March, Shea Gorath has cast out or killed every aspect of order found in the Shivering Isles. I alone have survived. Shea Gorath cannot bring himself to destroy the knowledge that I possess. Instead, he has confined me to this place and forbidden me to die. I have not seen another creature until fate, predictably, sent you to me. As you wish. Knife Point Hollow is my prison. As the great library, it once contained all the knowledge in creation. However, spare me your grief. My imprisonment is as meaningless as my immortality. Time and place are nothing. Constructs of a feeble mortal mind attempting to categorize and understand the world around it. If you were one of the fortunate few, you would one day understand and accept this. However, you are not new. I can create the physical shell of the staff, but the divine essence must be gathered elsewhere. But apotheosis is no simple matter, and the creation of the staff is no simple task. I will require two sacred items in order to complete it. The Shivering Isles hold many secrets, but few remain unseen by mortal eyes. The staff is a tool of great vision, and thus 
requires the eye of one who has witnessed one of these unseen secrets firsthand. Sirta resides in the howling halls of Mania. Find her and bring me the eye that has seen that which no other has. The trees and branches of this realm feed from a deep font of madness and mystery. One of the oldest trees, named the Tree of Shades, lies in the halls of Milkar. Milkar is a place of ruin, root, and mania. Go there and bring me a branch of this tree, but be warned. The tree will not surrender its secrets to one who has not earned them. Yes, only then can I create an appropriate vessel to hold the power that is inherent in the Lord of this realm. The staff may allow you to occupy the throne of madness, but understand that such a feat has never been attempted. All sources indicate that you will fail. It is a certainty. However, I also predict that this will not stop you from trying. The roots of the Tree of Shades run into the heart of the Shivering Isles. It is said that the tree feeds from waters of the Grove of Reflection. The Grove can show men who they truly are. Only after facing the truth will the Tree of Shades give up its branches to you. The Staff of Sheogorath holds the secrets of this realm. As such, it requires a vessel that has witnessed dark secrets. Sirta has seen things with her eyes that no mortal has. Because of this, her eye will serve well to contain that which the staff must hold. in the Grove of Reflection. According to Dias, I must locate the Tree of Shades and find a way to reveal my true self before I will be allowed to take one of its branches. After I approached the Grove of Reflection, a shadowy image of myself appeared from the waters of the Grove and attacked me. I defeated it, and now the Tree of Shades is beckoning to me. As Dias requested, I've taken a branch of the Tree of Shades. I should now seek out Theatre in the Howling Halls.
are here. is dead. Taking her eye should be a simple matter now. I have both items that Dias needs to recreate the staff of Sheagora. I should return to Knife Point Hollow and speak with him. Contrary to all prediction, once again, you defy the path set before you. However, what comes next is now unclear. If you wish to confront what is to come, I shall create the staff for you. You possess the eye and the branch. Together, they shall form the physical shape of the staff of Sheogorin. After I shape them into the staff, you must take it to the seat of power in the Shivering Isles, the palace of Shale Gorath. There, imbue the staff with power from the font of madness. Soak the staff in the waters of the land, and it will open its full power to you. You have defied the expected and accomplished something that denies all logic. I must contemplate the error in my calculations. Now, Take your treasure and leave. With the staff of Sheagorath now in my possession, I should make my way to the Tree of Madness in Sheagorath's throne room. There I can tap into the tree's power and begin my transformation. Thank you. 